saw myself where I am today in Glasgow already. Uh, probably a lot of people wasn't really sure where I'm going, but I at that point I pretty much had a plan, uh, and I'm really happy that I have been able to stick to my plan and uh, things are going great. Um, I'm swimming really fast times, and sometimes even I'm uh, I'm uh, pleasantly surprised with myself. I, I mean I didn't think that's what I didn't think. Was good that I will be in this position this fast uh, with, with the plan I had. I was hoping, hope, I was hoping to to have these results and this this um, feeling of how well the preparation is going for the next year, like before Tokyo. I, I was hoping for that. I, I, I gave myself a bit more time, but uh, thankfully I'm, I'm really impatient. So <laughs> um, yeah, everything is great. Uh, I would say. Um, a lot has changed, but not that much in a way. So it's it's pretty crazy. I'm here. I'm swimming. I love swimming, so that never changed. Uh, uh, I feel the same passion. I feel the uh, same excitement to come to your uh, swim meet. I love to walk into the pool, especially the day before the competition, and feel that buzz yeah. before the night before the competition starts. Uh, but yes, I'm I'm obviously uh, training with a new coach. Um, and, uh, and, and obviously, uh, in my private life, a lot of things have changed, and uh, I became 30 years old. <laughs> so, you know, things happen, and, and time goes for me as well. So yeah, that's, that's these are the things that's happening right now. For me, it's I don't want to be cheesy, but it's a dream come true because um, you know, especially after Rio, and especially after. Also, being able to do really well at the World Champs in Budapest, I, for me as a swimmer, I was able to achieve everything there is, and uh, I am always looking for inspiration and motivation. And um, being a part of such a project or movement or whatever you want to say, the, the league that is forming right now, ISL, and having such an active role in it, it really motivates me in the pool as well. Uh, so I think it's like. Um, it's double exciting for me because I'm excited as a swimmer to be able to be an active swimmer while this is happening um, and obviously I'm very excited and honored to be a part of it in the background and, and seeing how it unfolds and just learning and, 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 and everything uh, and, and I see how, how this thing grows from, from an idea yeah. or from, from, from people pushing to change the sport so um, it's, it's been uh, really crazy to see both sides at the same time. For me, my message would be to, if you, first of all, you must enjoy swimming. I mean, if you don't really enjoy swimming, I'm sure there is another sport that you will enjoy. And that, that's, this is the most important uh, thing that you have a passion for, for your sport, for swimming. That's number one. And number two is giving yourself time. I always have been really harsh on myself and I, I know how hard it is, especially being a teenager, girl, and you know, your body is changing and a lot of expectations and not just from others but from yourself as well. Just giving you yourself time because if you want it and if you love to do it, then you will figure out your own way and eventually we'll get there. Um, my goal was originally to be an Olympic champion when I was 15. I became an Olympic champion <laughs> at 27. And so okay. it took me a way longer time than I wanted or I expected. Uh, but it's been a really fun journey. So, so just enjoy the journey and always focusing on, on of course, learning from others, but you always have to figure out your own way. And it might take longer for some girls, and it might take less time for others. But uh, just keep on trying to figure out what what is the best for you, and keep keep at it.